Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? This city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. <laughs> nice job, super cop. I'm impressed. We back in business? Yeah. Mostly, but we need 30 to 40 minutes to finish maintenance. Nikolai, how are we doing? The town's crawling with those freaks. No chance of fighting our way out of the city. Why is she here? She's helping get the trains running again. Bad time to start carrying dead weight, friend. She's unreliable. Can't pull the trigger when it counts. Hey, take it easy. She'll get you killed. Sorry about that. Everyone's a little worked up. Oh, come on. Not again. It's me he's after. What? Hey. I'll buy you some time. Hey, wait. Wait, Jill. No! Through. They're willing to negotiate. Uh, uh, they'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. Uh, How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. Thank <laughs> you. 
Nikolai, don't! The city needs that vaccine! More than I do. Hmm. I don't think the wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now, I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So, let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll record it all and sell the combat data. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good! Jill! Here comes a crane. You use it to climb up. Oh no. Come on. Come on! Jill, get back! It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You print money. I like money. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! Have you... have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But... Well... You know how it is. City's about to explode. And you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! Jill! Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Soldier couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you, if you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work.
Joe, you all right? There it is. Finally over. So long, Arcee. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed. <laughs>